Hey, Lara. Thank you so much for doing this. I always love talking to you. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for having me, Dallas. You are married in real life. Yes. And you are happily married in real life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, this storyline, the Simon Eden storyline for season three, where um, it's not just all, you know, unicorns and rainbows and happiness. Yeah. Uh, how much of this rings true for you? Have you had some of these experiences where, for example, one of you comes home from a trip and and, and your expectations are not met and there's some tension or do you have uh, just a perfect marriage that we all should be oh of? absolutely like I I'm telling you the what Simon and Eden go through is something that my husband and I have gone through and then still sort of like it still sort of happens you know the miscommunication um I yeah. you know we travel for work and he does too and I can clearly remember there was a time when my husband came home from um, like a soccer tournament that he was coaching and he was just all excited about like you know winning and and meanwhile like didn't at all didn't ask at all like how I was doing you know or like right. you know missing me and things like that so right. Right. yeah it, it struck home and I think that's it's so relatable. So are you on team Eden or team Simon right now? So right now and after now that we're done with episode five yeah I, I, I said once on one of our social media pages um I said, I started out Team Eden because when Simon comes home, he's he, he's just totally distracted. He's already having people over, not being very considerate. But as time goes on, I'm kind of like, as a husband especially, I'm going, Eden, just talk to him. Just tell him. Um, what, what are your thoughts on this? When Simon first enters um, and he is, you know, he's excited to have the boys over and he's just, he's hungry and he's like, oh, do we have more bread? You know, things like that from episode four. I in like internally it's like I wanted to I wanted him to want to ask me you know like yeah. how have you been how 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 are you and there was none of that it was really about him when it, when he first comes home and right. so I mean I I was team Eden all the way right it's been it's been a rough kind of season right for Eden so so far mm -hmm. um and yeah, there was there was a point where I, where I felt like, well, it's almost past the point of no return where I, I feel like I can't tell him now because yeah. we are not we're not really communicating like who's going to be the first to break, you know, and so right. in a way, right. Eden was also being a little stubborn too, maybe giving him a little right. taste of his own medicine. No, that's really well said. And, and I remember when we were writing it, it was like, I think she was so caught off guard, first of all, because he surprised her. He came home and he surprised yeah. her. So she hasn't had a chance to work out. Okay, I have something to tell him, but you all—I also don't want to ruin right. um, his his homecoming. You don't want to have him walk in the door and have her go, you know, hey, just so you know, there's been a tragedy. Right. But I yeah. think as, as time goes on, uh, there's this there's this moment where she does want. I think she does need to tell him for his sake. Right. It's it's only fair to him, but she's still wounded. Right, right, right. You know, and sometimes wound, and 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 as you as we sometimes say, sometimes hurt people hurt others. Like when you've been hurt then whether consciously or subconsciously consciously you end up hurting somebody else. Yeah, uh, exactly. Like you couldn't have said it better. And I think sometimes the viewer, because Eden so far in the first two seasons has been so good, it's almost like okay. every 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 hit that comes at her, she handles really well. Okay. And I think this is the first time that she hasn't handled something as well as she could right. have. And I think some sometimes viewers are like, oh, that's really disappointing. And, and I think yeah. we're like, yeah, not everyone handles everything perfectly. Yeah. I did want to ask you about um, uh, the miscarriage scene, the actual scene itself, uh, acting that out. Um, that's got to be pretty vulnerable when you are, you know, w the viewer sees it in its finished form and the intensity of it. And there's music and there's editing and there's multiple people acting. Um, but it's easy to forget that when we're doing it, there's cameras and crew and an audio guy yeah. and everyone's standing around. It's like, OK, on action, you start screaming and and being completely uh, vulnerable physically and emotionally. Um, yeah. How difficult is that to just go for it? It was, I, I would say it was the, it wasn't as difficult, I think, um, because I did the work behind it. Like I, I did so much kind of talking to um, family members that I know that have happened to. Um, I've read women's stories and I get choked up just talking about it. So the challenging part was, yes, like, 
being in that space and um it can you know it can be so easily distracting when you do have all everybody around you this close and the camera this close um and for me as an actor I really had to uh forget about all of that and focus on what it is that we're telling here which is the story right. and um it is extremely difficult yes but um I'm just so just so honored to to get to uh, to play this, tend to play the story um, because it's so important and so many people don't talk yeah. about it. So um, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, you're giving voice to uh, women who've experienced this, who haven't seen this portrayed yeah. in a Bible show before or, uh, have, you know, it, it's something that isn't talked about a lot. And I think that's, uh, I think we all feel that sense of responsibility when we do in 10 scenes is like, okay, this is awkward, mm -hmm. but we owe the story right. this, you know, yeah. now that that's something that I've seen in you in this season. Um, I mean, you've, you've done a beautiful job uh, obviously from the beginning, but I've seen growth from you as an actress in your craft and, and all, hopefully that's true of all of us. We never stop growing and improving. Um, how did you prep for this season? Cause when you had, when you got the scripts, there had to be that moment of like, Oh my gosh, I have a lot to do yeah. and it is way bigger, way harder, way more intense than any of the previous seasons. Yeah. How did you prep for this season? What did you think when you read the scripts? When I first got the script, I mean, I was just like, wow, oh, I'm in this episode. And then, oh, I'm in this one too. Wow, there's a lot more, right? So that that in itself, I was feeling like nervous and anxious because, oh, I, I get to show more work. And then I got to episode five. And I remember just thinking, what am I doing here? Like, am I why why me like why am how am I going to be able to portray this because it's never happened to me um and but I but I do know that it's happened to millions of women and so to prepare for the season um I started I honestly started there my my work was just um listening to, to stories and and honestly going back to like my friends and my like people that I know, my family members that have happened to and realizing that we don't really know how to handle, you know, this, this, this big uh, traumatic experience that women have. And um, so the work began there and that's how I prepped. And I really just wanted to hear their stories. And then honestly, a lot of prayer, like, because I, I just felt so out of my element and I felt like, yeah. am I, <laughs> am I good enough to do this? Um, yeah. and, but I, I, you guys had faith in me that I could do it. So, and you wrote it in and, uh, I had to just, um, believe in myself because you all believed in me. And I know that, um, God really <laughs> worked through me and in me, honestly, to help tell right. the story. Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. And, and that is, that is something about it that when we write and when we cast people, uh, we are, this whole show in many ways is an act of faith. It's a, yeah. this is bigger than we are. Yeah. Uh, the, the responsibility is, is bigger than we can carry ourselves. Uh, we're not worthy of this. I think when you embrace that and go, you know what, I don't know that I am worthy of this, but maybe that's okay. Maybe I should lean into that and rely on, on uh, God. Yeah. It, excuse me, and those around me, um, to help. And, and, and so, uh, you give, you gave such a gift to the show this season and gave such a gift to us and to the viewer and especially to people who are dealing with this issue yeah. and have dealt with this issue by just making yourself so vulnerable and by working so hard to prepare, but then also ultimately surrendering. I'm so grateful for it. I know so many people are grateful for it as well. And there's more to come. There's three more episodes in this season yeah. uh, of this storyline. And uh, as you know, right. uh, it's even uh, in some ways even more intense uh, than what they've seen so far. Right. Uh, I so appreciate you. Love you. You're such a great part yeah. of this family. And I remember you auditioned first for Mary Magdalene. I know. And, uh, <laughs> Aren't you, aren't you glad you've got your, uh, cause Liz is perfect for Mary Magdalene and you've Impeccable. inhibited. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> well, more to come. Uh, and, uh, you're going to be getting the scripts soon for season four. So stay tuned perfect. for that. Thank you. Uh, we're, we're not even, we're, we're not even at the halfway point of this show yet, but, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going together. Yeah. I'm here for it. Thank you so much, Dallas. Thanks for having me.